it's the Droid Guy here. We're gonna do a quick hands-on video with the new Aeros tablet from Fujitsu. It's a waterproof Android tablet. Check it out. One thing that concerns us though is that this headphone jack is not covered, but we're gonna check it out because they're gonna put it in the water for us in just a second. On the bottom you have your docking connection. There's the dock right there. And what we're looking at is a Android tablet. It's of course running Honeycomb and it's a OMAP, T TI OMAP 4431 gigahertz dual core processor. It's got one gigabyte of RAM, 16 gigabytes of ROM, and of course it has a SD slot or a micro SD slot taking it up to potentially 32 gigabytes of RAM. It's got a 6560 milliamp per hour battery which is going to give you enough time to do what you need to do with your tablet. And it's running honeycomb, probably upgrading to ice cream sandwich in the next six months or so. It's a slight tablet, 10.1 inch WXVGA screen with 1280 by 800 resolution. And of course it's a capacitive touch screen. On the back, the Aeros has a 5.1 megapixel camera. And on the front, it has a 1.3 megapixel camera. It's the Fujitsu Aeros and it's not, not sure when it's coming to the United States or if it's coming to the United States. They do have a 3G LTE version that is running on Decomo in Japan. But uh, in a second we're gonna have somebody throw this in the water. So here we're gonna have the nice lady from Fujitsu just drop the tablet in the water. As you see. As you see, it's still working. Now, what about the headphone connector? I noticed the headphone connector is not <laughs> covered. It's actually fine. That's the way this one is designed. Some of them you have to have it sealed off, but... And the same thing with the one on the so bottom. So how is the water not getting into the headphone connector? Probably a Fujitsu secret, but... It's a Fujitsu secret, you hear that? Mm. Oh look, this international time, there's four o'clock in the now it's working again. We have another fun feature here that you can separate or connect the keyboard to allow for um, writing and also making characters to translate Japanese to Chinese. Oh, wow! Is it coming to the United States? We're hoping so, but we need a provider. Cool, well you heard it here. If they can get a provider, we're gonna see this badass Fujitsu tablet in the United States. This is a Fujitsu Aeros 10 inch tablet. It's 4G LTE with the Como in Japan, and it's waterproof. You saw it here on thedroidguy.com.